Hi everyone, this is Omar. Today is 7th of Feb 2016. It's a Saturday, the markets are closed. Um, actually, it's a Sunday, not a Saturday. I don't know why I keep going T minus 1. Anyhow, it's a Sunday, um, 7th of Feb 2016. The markets are closed, and I just wanted to, you know, go over the charts and um, give an update on my trades. So if I go back, uh, I had a trade in British pound, New Zealand dollar. I shorted this one at 2020 and my target was 1.560. So let me just go on to the chart of this one. This was an interesting ride actually. Um, over here. So I shorted this pair uh, on this candle. As you can see, for me, this is a big shallow candle and I took the entry below the lows uh, of this one at 2020 somewhere around here price uh, basically became zigzag after that this was a Thursday I believe and it opened up and then it went down came close to my target then went all the way up came close to my stop then it went down again uh, and all this time it failed to close above this zone uh, this red zone at triple two four so it went down uh, now basically what happened was uh, last Friday was the non-farm payroll Friday so I didn't and uh, before the non-farm payroll it was hovering around uh, somewhere over here I'll go over the one over chart one hour charts as well and I took it off a couple of hours before the non-farm payroll somewhere over here I believe it was uh, it was let me check the trading station it was uh, 2.1625 so 2.1625 i got it out somewhere over here this was last friday mainly because i didn't want to keep it open for the non-farm payrolls i didn't i uh was close to my target it just again bounced back a couple of pips from the uh, not, not a couple of pips about 10 20 pips from my target and I just didn't want it to you know, go all the way to the break even for me. So I took it off. If you see on the one hour chart, this is where the non-farm payroll actually came. And this is where I exited the trade. Exactly over here, 1625. I took it off over here uh, a few hours before the non-farm payroll. And I didn't want any risk on the table on this one. I didn't want, even want to see the break even on this one because it has been going on for a long time. And anyhow, it was very close to my target. If you see, my target was uh, 1560. So 1560 is somewhere over here for this pair. Over here. And you can see it came very close. Although I don't do that, I don't normally close trades before they hit the target or the stop. But for this one, I took an exception from my um, from my rules because of the non-farm payroll and uh, because it has bounced very closely from a target a couple of times and seeing a break even was not an option for me in this case so that trade is gone uh, it made around one point I believe two hours for me uh, this was interesting it was a good run I mean good trade Okay, now uh, I entered another trade after this one, which I didn't post, didn't update. Uh, I'll do it now. The other trade I entered was basically in New Zealand Swiss franc. So I am uh, long on this pair, and I am long on this pair uh, from here. So, uh, actually, from here. So you see this candle. Uh, this is how it looked. Yeah, this is how it looked. This is the candle where I bought the. Uh, I, I I went long the New Zealand dollar versus the Swiss franc. For me, this was a big shadow candle. Now, um, although I would have preferred to see the close of this candle near the highs, it didn't happen. Uh, and my entry stop got triggered the next day. I am long on this from. Uh, 66.40 so somewhere over here is above the high 66.40 I am long and my stop is below the low around uh, 64.95 yeah I'll update the numbers in the post itself 
uh it went down came close to my spot just missed it if you see the low is 6502 and my stop was at 650 uh 6495 so it just missed my stop by seven pips it went up again it went up again basically it has been bouncing from this zone over here from these highs over here and it came down sharply it is right now in a drawdown uh i'm losing about how many pips i can't see the pips on the platform but i'm losing more than 50 percent of my stop on this trade um, it's around 0.6 hours and uh from the look of it to be very honest it looks like it's gonna eat up my stop because this is a very good pin bar at a very good zone and since price has fallen on uh, friday based on this pin bar it looks quite likely that it will come all the way and test this zone maybe test these lows over here as well which will eat my stop uh, but i cannot take this position out unfortunately i have to watch it come down eat my stop uh, to make sure that i maintain my long-term win loss ratio average so let's see what's gonna happen in this one i will update this one in the um, in the post as well so you so we can track it the other trade i have is basically in crude oil this is an interesting one so i'm long as much it is a surprise to most people i'm actually long crude oil from here if you see this candle over here it's actually a big shadow a bullish big shadow it's uh, overshadowing the last candle completely and i like this trade because it's sort of a one two three pattern for me so this is the one this is a two this is three normally when we have a, a one two three pattern on a key zone like this one price breaks above the two so one two three i am hoping i am expecting the price to break above this and it's also a big shadow which i trade now price came down uh, basically is in a, this trade is in a drawdown uh, it's roughly at 0.4 r 40 percent drawdown from the entry so uh but i am not very really pessimistic on this one i think all of we have a strong resistance over here a strong zone over here as you can see but i do think that uh this trade still has the potential to go up and uh tag my excuse me guys just give me a hi sorry i'm back i was getting a call okay so yeah uh i am not really pessimistic about this one i think uh crude oil has the potential to reverse and before it makes a new low it has the potential to go back all the way up to these highs over here or maybe to these lows over here as well but uh and especially after this strong candle it looks likely but of course no one can forecast the market so i'll just keep my um, senses tight on this one and let's see what happens the other trade i entered was uh, basically this is again a very interesting one i actually sold i entered a shot in mexican peso so this is usd versus mexican peso i shorted this one as you can see this interesting tool from my charting platform i shorted this one somewhere over here based on this big shadow candle basically this is again a one two three pattern this is my one this is my two and this is my three and over here i have a strong selling signal at this zone this is one of the best uh, looking patterns i've seen since the start of this year unfortunately it's at a drawdown um and a significant drawdown this is roughly if you can see over here this is roughly uh, uh okay let me just see the platform yeah it's about 65 percent drawdown from my entry um so despite this is at a drawdown i am still hopeful and the reason is basically a uh, price looks to be resisting from these lows over here and more importantly 
this is a very good looking setup uh it now it might go up and hit my stop before it decides to come back again it might just go up give us a double top and then come back again or it just might break up and rush for the high all the way again as well i have no idea what's going to happen but execution wise this is a good setup this is a good trade if it uh goes and hits my stop that's just pure bad luck but Overall, the trade is actually very good. I am very, um, so if it happens again and again, I'll take this trade. It's it's that good. I am, I'll wait for it to, I'll wait for it to hit my stop or come back and tag me on my target over here. Now the fourth trade I entered was basically in Canadian Swiss franc. And this is again, a very interesting setup. Now, um, I shorted this pair from this candle. This one over here, you can see. This is basically a very interesting uh, engulfing slash big shadow candle on a very interesting zone over here. So I have a short over here, and um, yeah, it's from the lows. Basically, my target on this one is 70. 05 so i'm targeting somewhere this area 705 this area uh it's in a profit right now it's more than 50 percent in profit right now and i do expect it to come down and tag me on this it looks good so far uh it's in the trend uh this is a reversal over here uh these lows can be a bit um, problematic for the trade we might see a slight bounce all the way to over here all the way to this level over here but let's see i am hopeful and let's see what it gives us in the next week so these are the trades i am right now um if you have any questions please do post them below i will surely get back to you thank you so much and i'll come back with more videos in the next week take care bye bye